Tomorrow it is Drew Anderson, and then Drew Anderson is going to start tomorrow. And then I call is opening up on Thursday. How are things work with the six starters? Uh, just a regular rotation. I mean, instead of five-man rotation, six-man rotation. So. Yeah, yeah, so we, we got I call yeah, 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 yeah. Irvin, De Los Santos, Suarez, Anderson, Romero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll just be instead of five men, it'll just be six men. There's no piggyback or nothing like that. Right. Yeah. Can you tell us about some of the strengths of your squad this year? It looked like you had a pretty good pitching staff last year. Do you anticipate that again? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I've, I've always felt like, you know, pitching staff is – is, 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 is basically a glue to the team, you know. You know, good pitching normally shuts down good hitting. So uh, we've, got, we've got guys that, that have had some success, not only at this level, but at the major league level as well. And so I anticipate, you know, the pitching staff to be, yeah, to be, to be a, a strong part of this team. I mean, uh, but having said that, you know, when you look at the position player group, I think it's a solid group as well with, with some experience, with some young guys mixed in. So, you know, and guys that know how to play. So, looking forward to it. How will Canelo be used? Uh, he'll, 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 he'll move around. I mean, if you look at the makeup, makeup of, the, of this team, we got a lot of guys that can move around. I mean, I mean, you look at Canelo, Sean Rodriguez, Roman, Gosselin. I mean, all of these guys, have played all over the diamond. Tom Shaw, Walden can move to first base. I mean, uh, so it's 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 it's, it's go be a situation where, you know, on a nightly basis, you may see guys not playing the same position back to back night sometimes. With the six man rotation, are, are you, would you tend to maybe go longer with a pitcher in a, in a game or, or let him sleep because he's going to have that extra rest? Uh, no, I think we're just going to. We'll, we'll, we'll try to take care of them, take care of their arms, and I don't think we'll push them any, push them any longer, especially early on. We're not going to push them any, 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 any longer, and you know, have them throw more pitches. Uh, as we get moving forward, you know, it may be a situation where we might be able to let a guy go an extra eight, ten pitches, or something like that. But it's going to basically be the same as if it was a five-man rotation. Did you say, um, I didn't hear you, I, I call for Irvin tomorrow? No, I said uh, Drew Anderson tomorrow. Uh, Drew Anderson. I call will open up on uh, Thursday. Okay. And then Irvin will follow him on Friday. Okay. What kind of expectations do you have from Irvin, pitcher of the year last year, right? Yes. I mean, what do you talk to him that you need out of him this season? Well, I don't think I really have to say much. I mean, this. He, he, I mean, he's, he knows what he's, what he's uh, capable of doing. I think he just won't really want to pick up and uh, carry on from last year. Uh, quite naturally, you know, this is a different year, and, and, and I don't think you, you know, I don't think he's thinking about what he did last year. You know, I got to put more pressure on myself to do, to have a better year, that type of thing. I think if he just continues to be himself, go out and pitch, use all his weapons, move we'll all in and out, up and down. Uh, you know, everything else takes care of itself. What's his best pitch? Do you think? Well, I mean, I just think he's a, he's a, he he knows how to get hitters out. You know, he's got a sneaky fastball, uh, a good changeup, uh, off-speed pitches are good. So I just think uh, one of his strengths is that he knows how to stay in the moment. He knows how to attack hitters, and then, and, and and more importantly, he doesn't try to get outside of himself. He doesn't try to do anything that uh, he's not capable of doing. And I think that's important for any, not only just baseball player, but for any athlete in general to stay within themselves. Will Cousins see any time in first base? Yes, he will. He's, uh, you know, he's been working there a little bit, and, and we'll try to sprinkle him in here and there and uh, see if we can uh, get him comfortable over there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Do you seem like he's up for it? Yeah, he's up for it. I mean, you know, he's uh, he worked at it, and, 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 and uh, you know, he played some games there in spring training at the end. And, and uh, you know, it's something that's, that's, that's a good chance you can pull it off. Your big league team has a lot of expectations on them playing well so far. A bunch of these guys are on the 40-man, so how do you handle kind of the chance that they could be up there, be back down here? Do you need to take it upon yourself to prepare them to, to head up? or how, What's kind of the, the relationship there? Well, I mean, it's part of our job to, you know, get those guys prepared to play at the major league level, but it's also part of their job to, to 
to know themselves and know what they need to do in order to get themselves ready for the major level. And if you look in that room, uh, you know, most of those guys in the room have played, have been at the major league level, so they know what it takes, know what it takes. So, uh, and so our, 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 our uh, situation here is we're just going to uh, uh, try to have these guys improve, make sure they're ready when their name's called. I mean, because we all know things are going to happen. Uh, 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 injuries, whatever, whatever it might be. Bullpens have a way of working their way out of Triple A, but do you have anybody in mind to close out early on? No, we're just going to see what happens. I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very experienced bullpen. Mm -hmm. uh, guys that uh, know how to uh, approach hitters, guys that have some success at the major league level. So, uh, in my experience says that that role kind of uh, evolves as the season goes. I got one. Oh. We're around doing most of the catching right. early. Run. Well, I mean, it's going to be a, a, a split, and the next split may end up being Grouillon, you know, a little bit heavier, heavy, heavy, heavier than uh, Bradley and McBride. But, you know, uh, Bradley, you know, he's, you know, as an insurance, uh, just like a lot of these guys are. And, and, and you know, at this level, when you have the, 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 the major league guys, that didn't make the team, and they're you know in their thirties. You know, I think I think it's important to understand that for them to be ready, take advantage of an opportunity that might come up at the major league level. They're not; they don't have to play every day. You know, they can, they can play three, four times a week and still keep themselves ready and prepared if their name if their name is called. Right. I mean, that's the beauty of of having having experienced guys, and, and that's the beauty of having you know, some younger guys sprinkled in. So, so now, as a result, you know, younger guys are getting experience, but the older guys already have that experience, and they just try, and they, you know, what they're doing, they're just making sure they keep themselves ready when they, not if, but when their uh, names call. What kind of guy like Romero? He's got a good, he's a young arm. What are you, what are you kind of looking for him now as he comes up to Triple A? Well, just go out and be himself. I mean, you know, good, good, good stuff. Aggressive in the zone, and uh, you know I saw him in spring training, but you know I re really haven't seen a whole lot of him other than three or four games in spring training. But I like what I saw. You know, good aggressive in the zone. Uh, likes to like see like he, he he enjoys being out on the mound, and so I'm looking forward to him going out. And you know, a young guy, first time here. You know, there may be some bumps and bruises, but I don't think there'll be anything he, he won't be able to handle. Uh, one more for me. Uh, amazing season for you guys last year. Best record in the league. Won the division. Uh, first round playoffs is kind of where it ended. What are the expectations for the team this year? And, and obviously you don't necessarily shoot to set that record for the best record again, but want to get close, right? So, so No expectations. We just will go up and go out. The only expectation I have is for these guys to go out and play hard. You know, and, and prepare themselves to... Well, Philadelphia, when, when their numbers called. That's my expectation. Uh, that takes priority over winning. Now, if you win in the process, that's just like you know having a, uh, a piece of chocolate cake and you put some vanilla ice cream on top of it. That's you know, there's kind of icing on, on, on top of it when you win. Uh, while you're trying to make sure these guys are developing and uh, uh, getting ready for the big day, because you know, let's make no mistake about it. Development comes takes priority over winning. So, uh, but, you know, if you can conquer both in the best of both worlds, that's, that's great. That's a tough that's spring for Ronald. Is he good to go? Yeah, he's right good to go. Shoot. I mean, he's good to go. He's, he'll be fine. I mean, uh, he picked out a couple of outings before we left spring, and he looked good. So I, I anticipate him coming out and, 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 and uh, pitching well. I'm sorry. I just want to double check. The six-man rotation, is it uh, Anderson, De Los Santos, Eikhoff, Irvin? Uh, Romero and Suarez. Okay, great, great. Thanks. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Thank you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thanks, guys.